Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use formulas to perform calculations or mathematical functions on cells. There are two basic ways of writing formulas that you can use, range syntax or simple syntax. A syntax is a way of expressing or writing something. And it's important to note that these two ways of writing formulas are not mutually exclusive. In fact, more complex formulas will often incorporate elements of both in order to arrive at the desired result. Now, typically, you'll use the simple syntax to perform multiple mathematical calculations on multiple cells. You'll use the range syntax to perform a single mathematical function over multiple cells. To create a formula, first click into the cell into which you want the results of the formula to appear, and then create your formula. When you're finished, you're going to have to exit the cell in order to make the answer appear. Once again, this is the concept of content versus display. The actual content of the cell will be the formula, but the cell will display the answer to the formula. If you click into the formula cell after it's been created, you'll see the actual formula displayed in the formula bar, and the answer to the formula will appear in the spreadsheet. You can actually press control on your keyboard and the left quotation mark key to toggle the spreadsheet display between answers and the formula calculation each time you press that keystroke combination. When you're creating ranged syntax formulas, first select the cell into which you wish to enter the formula. Start by typing an equal sign. Formulas always start with an equal sign. This prevents Excel from interpreting the formula as a text entry, since the cell addresses used in formulas are simply letter-number combinations. Next, you'll type the name of the function which you wish to perform on the cell range or ranges. So for example, if I wanted to sum the two cells right above the current cell in my spreadsheet, I would type the function sum, which adds the cells in the range. Next, type an open parenthesis and input the cell range or ranges upon which you wish to perform that function. So to sum the two cells above, that would be A15 through colon symbol A16. Finally, type a close parenthesis and then either press enter on your keyboard or click the green check mark in the formula bar to enter the formula into the cell. Note that you won't use spaces in formulas but that they're not case sensitive. Creating a simple formula is like writing a typical math problem from grade school. Once again, you start by selecting the cell into which you want to enter the formula and then typing an equal sign. Next, you'll type the cell addresses that you want to use in the formula joined with your standard mathematical operators. You can also enter standard numbers in a formula if you want to. However, you'll typically want to manipulate the values of the cells, which may change, and thus you'll use cell references instead. So in order to write, um, let's say, A15 minus A16, which should give us zero, you type in the first cell reference, the operator that you need, in this case a minus for subtraction, and then the other cell references. And when you're done, once again, press enter on your keyboard, or click the green check mark. In simple formulas, the standard order of operations applies. Designated operations are performed from left to right with anything in parentheses calculated first, then exponentiation, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Now if you want to perform a single calculation on a range of cells, it's usually easier to create a ranged formula reference instead of a simple formula. Note though that you can use both syntax and a single formula. For example, if you wanted to sum a column of sales and then multiply the result by 20%, you could express a combined formula, such as equal sign sum, and then the range of cells which you want to perform that function on. And then we would use our simple mathematical operator of the asterisk for multiplication and say just 20 typed in, regular number, and the percent sign. Once again, when you are done, just hit enter 
And you can see that what it would do is it would sum the selected cells using the range syntax, take that result, and multiply it times 20% with the simple syntax. And most of the more complex formulas you'll create will actually incorporate elements of both to derive the desired answer. Formulas that also use cell references will automatically be recalculated when you enter or change information in the cells referenced by the formula. That way, you don't have to keep updating the formula when you change the data. This is one of the best features of Excel and one of the reasons that you'll so seldom find actual numbers entered into a formula. When you are entering cell addresses in formula, you can either type them or you can actually use your mouse to select the cell or cell ranges that you want to insert in the formula. Once again, when you're finished creating your formula, make sure you always leave the cell in order to save the formula result and display the answer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.